15 minutes ago, and he told me to wait right here for him. Was there any news about Bobby? I don't know. But something must have happened. Why? Well, because I was standing here just a few minutes ago, and Bobby came out of the elevator so fast, she almost knocked me down. Well, you know, you're right in the line of fire. Did she say anything to you? No. Oh, she just ran right out of here. Well, now, maybe that's encouraging. I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up about anything until I talk to Scotty. You know, sometimes the sun does come through those big black clouds. You just believe it. Uh, Monica. Yes, I am. Excuse me, I don't mean to disturb you. Oh. Do you have any further word on late? Uh, no. I mean, nothing lately, except that we still haven't been able to diagnose what's wrong with it. Well, how about Mrs. Hewitt? Not so good, I'm afraid. Uh, Steve just told us at a staff meeting that her condition has deteriorated greatly in the last 24 hours. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, we all are. And we're all praying that Lee doesn't follow the same pattern. But so far, all his symptoms match exactly hers, step for step. And the lab hasn't been able to give you any idea that would help Steve decide what it is? No. Oh, Howard, uh, this is not a publication. Oh, no, 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 of course not. I understand that, Mike. Really, no, I, thank you very much. Scotty, well, Scotty, what, what is it? You look so strange. Scotty, uh, did he find anything out from Everything. Now? What? Gina got Bobby's test for results back a couple of minutes ago. And? Negative. <gasps> Bobby what? is definitely not pregnant. And what's more, Dr. Haynes wasn't even her family doctor. Laura. Laura, are you all right? Well, say something. No, I can't. I just, I can't. Got it. Well, everything's going to be all right now. Oh, tell me again. Just tell me again, please. Everything is going to be all right. I don't have to marry Bobby. She's not pregnant, and she never was. Oh. I told you not to give up hope, didn't I? I just didn't dare believe it could happen. I, I didn't dare hope. I, I was so sure that you were going to marry Bobby. I know, I know, Laura. I know. I kept telling you to, to keep on hoping. I myself never even dreamed that things would work out like this. Listen, I want you to find your mother right away and tell her what's happened. I mean, if it wasn't for her insisting that, that Gina see Bobby, then I wouldn't have known the truth before. It, was, it would have been too late. And now I want to find Bobby myself. Uh, she's not here. Where is she? Well, I don't know, but she ran out of here in a terrible hurry a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I bet she did, because she was lying about everything up until the last minute. Scotty, I don't want to hear anything more about Bobby, not ever. Lord, don't worry, you won't. You won't. But first, I want to find Bobby. Yeah, I got to find her right now. All right? Uh, where are you going? To find her. But, but please, Scotty, do you have to do that? Can't you just... Let it go, please. No, I, I can't, Laura. I have to find her, and I have to tell her what I think about her, and tell her about all these crummy lies. Now, listen, I'll see you later tonight, okay? Oh. Well, now, are you happy? Yes. The sun finally did come out from behind those big black clouds. Oh, don't you? I'm so glad. But listen, uh, you really should go talk to Leslie. Scotty is right. If it weren't for her, we never would have known about Bobby's lives. Well, go tell her right <laughs> away. <laughs> Monica, thank you for being such a good friend. Well, you know you will always be very special to me, Laura. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I'll be in Rick's office uh, if anyone needs me. Uh, uh, what? A uh, Rick's office? All right, yes. Is that in there? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm just completely bewildered. About what? Never mind. I'm not going to indulge in the kind of personal speculation that I'm always criticizing Bobby Spector for. Well, now, I think uh, you are entitled to one slip. All right, then. I just saw Scotty Baldwin kissing Laura Webber. Yes, you did. Well, however, I know that Scotty Baldwin's leaving today to get married in Canada at Bobby's Spencer. I understand your confusion. No, the uh, wedding in Canada is definitely off. I see. And that's, uh, why you just saw Scotty kissing Laura. Oh, yes, of course. Scotty's always been in love. Never stopped loving her. Not for one minute. Excuse me. Yes. Doesn't that clear everything up? Well, yes. I mean, no, not one little bit. Right. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize.
realize that my desk was uh, <coughs> occupied at this particular moment? Listen, I hope you don't mind me looking over Edward's last test results, but they were right on the desk. No, not at all, Monica. In fact, a couple areas. Uh, before trying... you say another word, I have some good news for you. Oh, what is that? <laughs> well, Skyly insisted that Bobby uh, have another pregnancy test that Gina gave it to him. It turned out negative. Bobby's been lying about everything all down the road. All she wanted to do was to trap Scotty into marrying her. Why, well, when did all this take place? Just now. I mean, I was just with Laura when Scotty told her the news. You should have seen her, Rick. I mean, she really just couldn't say anything for almost, almost two minutes. And, and finally, well, I can't describe it, except I've never seen anybody that was so happy or so relieved. Where is Laura now? Oh, she went to tell Leslie the news. I'm going to say, I expected a be more enthusiasm. I mean, aren't you thrilled for both of us? Yes, I am, Monica. I am very happy that Scotty found out the truth before it was too late. But I... But you what? I am afraid that now Laura and Scotty are going to think the way is clear for them to get engaged and be married, aren't you? I'm indeed all surprised. Uh, most people plan to do just that. Who are in love? Monica, Laura is in no shape for that kind of relationship. Not after what she's been through this year. I don't care how much they think they're in love. It's wrong. And I feel very strongly about that. Obviously. Scotty, you're going to think the way is clear for him to get engaged and be married, isn't you? I'm indeed all surprised. Uh, most people plan to do just that. Who are in love? Monica, Laura is in no shape for that kind of relationship. Not after what she's been through this year. I don't care how much they think they're in love. It's wrong. And I feel very strongly about that. Obviously. Well, it's going to be a big point of disagreement with Leslie and myself, too. Saying that uh, you think she approves. Sometimes Leslie doesn't want to see things that she doesn't want to see. I mean, she will not acknowledge the fact that Laura is emotionally immature. She is not ready for any kind of permanent commitment. Well, maybe she sees what I see. Two people very much in love. Well, there's more to it than that. She almost looks on Scotty as though he were some form of savior for Laura because he was the only person that Laura trusted after all the trouble with David Hamilton. Oh, Rick, I understand that. But I agree with Leslie. I mean, why wouldn't you want to see Laura be with someone she loves and trusts who has proven that he is deserving of that trust? Because, number one, she is only 17. And she is so emotionally scarred of, of everything that's happened to her this past year that... Oh, come on, Rick. But Laura is a lot more mature than an average 17-year-old. Now, what are you referring to? Are you talking about maturity? Are you talking about sexual awareness? Both, I guess. Yeah, well, I'll agree with you on the awareness and part of the maturity, but she is in no way ready for the responsibilities of a marriage. Look, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I am out of line here, Rick. Uh, it's none of my business. Uh, I mean, this is something that you and Leslie and Laura have to, uh, Discuss among yourselves. Yeah, that's one talk I'm not looking forward to because no matter how it comes out, I'm going to end up being ahead. Well, not necessarily. Monica, do you see my point? <laughs> I think I'm not exactly the best person to ask something like that. And why not? Because you know me, I am a hopeless romantic. Romeo and Juliet is still my most favorite play. As a matter of fact, I'm probably as emotionally immature as you think Laura is. I'll maybe a couple of years ago that might have been true. Not now, Monica. You're a mature woman in the very best sense of the word. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. I'm just not sure I deserve it. Why not? Oh, Rick. I mean, I'm still confused about a lot of things. And, and emotional things. Hey, everybody is. Are they? Yes, of course. Are you? Yes, you know, most of the time, things seem very straight, clear-cut to me. 
But lately I've found myself confused and wondering about a lot of things. Is, is Luke 